After robbing a bank at 16 years old, it would take Lewis Johnson years before he came to terms with his substance use. I did 11 months in prison. I got out, and that didn't deter me from my alcohol and drug use at all. Uh, con continued to spiral downward, uh, and then that's uh, when I'd lost everything. Over those years, his addiction to alcohol and opioids would cost him his business and family. He went to live with his daughter in 2018, who said he could stay under the condition he quit drinking. I actually died on my daughter's living room floor. Uh, I, I was dead, clinically dead, and um, uh, I was on life for five days. Johnson was in the hospital for three weeks. He got a second chance through a wake med program in Raleigh, and today runs a support group called Open Door Recovery. Derek Goudat is an Open Door Recovery member and says the key to staying clean after rehab is to completely change your environment because relapses can happen. I woke up one morning and I was living on a park bench in Moore Square and woke up and walked in the uh, bus station over there to wash my face, you know, and just kind of, and when I looked in the mirror, I saw the, I saw death looking back at me. And right then I said, it's gone, it's time to change. It's coming all the way through, going all the way. In fact, Goudat says a relapse is part of the disease and not part of the recovery. The people you hang out with, they're, they're not gonna, unless they're changing with you, they're gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over, and it's gonna keep pulling you right back into it. From 2000 to 2020, around 28,000 North Carolinians lost their lives to opioid overdoses, where in that final year, around eight people were dying every day. For Johnson, he says the opioid issue in rural North Carolina is out of control. I talked to so many people that have come into my group and they have nowhere to turn. They, they're looking for resources to help and they can't find them. Um, so that's why it's so important for me to be involved. You'll be going over the end of the dam. Oh, I know it. Johnson continues to help people like Derek and travels the country to tell his story of addiction. He says that only a greater network of support can help keep people in recovery. For NC Impact, I'm Evan Howell.